Hello again, YouTube. It's me, Gomer Silicone, here to go ahead and have fun with another episode. That is episode two of The Wolf Among Us, a very happy and cheerful series where nothing grisly has happened. Sure, there's totally not a serial killer on the loose within Fable Town, and uh, Big B totally didn't just find uh, the woman that he is very romantically interested in without everything from the neck down. No, it's all going well. It's a beautiful place where everything has a happy ending forever and ever after, right? Or not. Well, okay, yeah, we, we, got, we got a lot of problems we're going to have to take care of with this. Uh, but yeah, hope everyone's ready to go ahead and enjoy some more Wolf Among Us. Here on out is where I totally know nothing. Like, I barely remembered episode one stuff. I don't know anything about episode two onwards, so... Get ready for me to be completely surprised. Yeah, so no head. Well, I guess all head in this instance. Alright. Oh yeah, first let's check out the fables. Oh, I actually missed one. Huh. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll, and the owner of the Trip Trap Bar. She's glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables with little to spare, but she has no patience for the Fable Town government that has done nothing to locate her missing sister. Oh, hi there, Ryder. Have a nice lurk, and thank you for giving Sunday a pet. Grendel. Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse mead halls. But lately, he can be found occupying a stool in various quiet, dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who've learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. Big Beast Mercy. In the days leading up to the Exodus, the Big Bad Wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading for uh, forces had driven off the great beast's preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption, hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while sparing their prisoners. One day he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the light sky. He approached her and she, knowing no sword could match a giant wolf's power, Bravely placed her shackles in a beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two met again in the monthly world. Oh, that's actually very sweet. God, I really want to actually read the Fable comics. Just playing this game, it's actually really making me want to check them out. <laughs> anyway, it's on to episode two, everyone. Smoke and mirrors. Oh, booba. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B. Oh, the recap. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking Oh, about thanks, you thank you, Pawn, for giving us a pet as well. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Yeah, Thank I promise. You for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Uh. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man. A girl named Fuckman. That's an odd name. 
fucks in the world is needed to shake down. That right big baby. Oh, this is a little out of order. Worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Telltale Games presents an association with these two places. A Sandslop is trying to destroy, probably. Oh, this is back to him seeing Snow White's head. Oh no. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, oh, we're in the actual home. police. Maybe S get some sleep. Station now. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. I must be pissed off you're, right now. You're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. The person you care about the most just had a very grisly death. Of course, you're gonna be pretty fucking pissed and upset. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> Are you okay? What the you fuck? Don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> what the fuck is happening? Please. Please. Is there some fable magic going on? I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please. <laughs> Um, they're not dead, are they? We have to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. What if there's an important crime? Yeah. What if they got some key evidence to take away someone very bad? Ah, whatever. The chances are, it's probably just trying to handle people that were like homeless and drunk. So it's like they they can forget that. They can just let those people walk right out. <laughs> those police probably had nothing better to do. That's probably the only real assi assignment they actually had. Why is the game loud again? Hold on a second. Let the audio pick up. All right, let's see if that's better. <clears throat> 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 
<clears throat> I can do that too. This doesn't change anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. It's very fucking suspicious still, bud. <laughs> Gotta figure out why they're always there, too. Why oh, they're so interested. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her, too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. I'll sympathize on this. <laughs> used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Ah, New York City, the place though. Restons will call she, both uh, the best and worst place of ever. What she was thinking when you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Yeah, Bigby might be a little angry. I just got a feeling. Just got a feeling. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Oh, is that Bluebeard? Tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. I'm stick with try to get stick with the uh, right, no violence D. thing as well. Let's get to know each other. Ah, oh, the classic detective thing. Just show the. Don't make me look Just show the that. fucking photo of the Just crime. Away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. 
I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we... Hey, we got to the talk. Hell yeah. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. That's a lot of money. He's being too nice to him. You always carry this much cash? I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? A lot of laundering, you mean? So where's your brother? I'm not worrying Look, about rent mate, right now. I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Yeah, you got caught, what bud. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Straps. Oh, you know, I can just I really punch like him, huh? Spending time with you, Bigby. You're so. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. <laughs> Have a drink. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Loosen the lips a bit, maybe. <laughs> This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. The weird sweet. voice actor so familiar. You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss. Yeah, I'm getting him talking all right. Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? Don't I know. Be in trouble, I can't remember the name of the top of my head. I, I know Big B's voice actor. Questions. Yeah, Spike Spiegel, after all. Anyone can see this isn't working. It's time to try a different. Nah, I think I'm getting him talking right now, honestly. I'm saving that. Oh, I think I'm enjoying it right now. Burn D, blow smoke. This is really... What's the point of this? Here. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look... But You're blowing smoke have been a better idea than leave beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. Wait, beauty. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough. Yeah, we're real close. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Oh, shit. Hey, was, hey, man, I just want you to stop. 
We gotta hold off on this, bud. We gotta be civil. What's going on down here? Wait, what the fuck? Snow. Huh? I saw your head off. Your f what? <laughs> Got a cute picture of. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, I got a cute picture of uh, for my mom for her two dogs just cuddling next to each other while we. Will this actually show well? Oh boy. Trying to get it right. It's tough to see because of the glare and stuff. <laughs> Flycatcher is still asleep, huh? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I. We were investigating your murder. Snow. And that makes it okay? Hey, if it makes you feel better, Bigby wasn't the one being rough. I hope it was worth your time. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. Or anyone. So I took care of it. Wait, you would have known what was going on. What is it? I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Oh, Snow noticed that, huh? I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel... Responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. Yeah, but it's still not your fault. You're not the one who did it. <laughs> and why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So... What's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while. Until yeah, that might be safe for you. Going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you I'm tired of sitting around. Oh, I said the wrong I'm thing. I'm not going to be an oh, I said the wrong thing. anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. Hey, understandable. He's, He's a kid. Though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. Oh, so I know what's being inferred there. I'll try. I'll try to be good with the kid. TJ's over there. I don't Wasn't know if you want to cage. talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I 
I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh. Hey, what's a terrible this time? Well, that's appropriate. Staffed at a heart three times, huh? The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? Yeah, there's some wolves sounding at the moon too, huh? I hope you can find what you're looking for. Oh, and in the end, you're all alone. And acids. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Oh, perfume. Snow's perfume. Lay Aloha. Oh, yeah, did I get any more fables? Oh, I did. Oh, Bluebeard. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in, the est in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. When Bluebeard returned, he knew he must kill her before she revealed his murderous secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her, and Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. And now he is one of the most influential members of the All Fables. <laughs> Wait, was I supposed to mess with the magic lamp last time, maybe? Is that why I missed one of the fables? Nope. I had nothing to do with it. Hey, Toad. Hey, TJ. What are you talking to the mirror for about? Oh, that's enough. Hey, mirror, vanish. Cancel. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry. No harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Gotta be very careful. This is a heavily traumatized child. It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Yeah, no point to talk about like the risk of the glam, glamour. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too! Cause... cause she had... Rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Is the headless horseman the serial killer? Tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is that why it's always it's Is like it all true? about decapitation? You know when people are lying. I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! 
or gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Y you're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stand. I know the double standard. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm trying to be good, good with the kid. But, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. You're being very noisy, Sunday. <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said, they said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. Hey, yeah, that seems to be enough. I don't know how much I'm more we're getting sorry. from the kid. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> yeah, let's not, let's not keep this going. Thank you, TJ. Don't want to keep that wound open too okay, long. Son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. Yeah, I can wait. When you're ready. Let's go ahead and check things out more. The mirror seems to want to talk. It panned over for a second over there. It's like, huh. What's up, bud? What do you got hey, for me? Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Oh, Sunday. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Oh wait, you can continue talking, okay. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. <laughs> Oh, just waiting in the car somewhere, huh? What do you want, Jack? What do you want? What do you bother me? Alright, what's this new fable we got? Oh, it's about the mirror this time. The magic mirror speaks mostly in rhyme and demands the, uh, that others do the same. He also requires the name of whatever object or person you wish to find. If you follow these rules, the mirror will show you a glimpse of whatever you want to see, but nothing more. Oh, the magic mirror. Occupation. Magic mirror. <laughs> Amazing. Sunday. What do you want, cat? Huh? What do you want? Oh, no, no, no. Not on the desk. Oh, she's a weird cat. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready now. I'm ready to talk. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Oh? Come on. Oh, some files, I assume. 
witching well chamber. I assume this is the connection between the Fable world or worlds and our world. <laughs> oh shit, wait, that's an entry. The Witching Well is located in a chamber inside Woodland Building, where it is uh, where it is used to dispose of things ne meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths, as are the most unredeemable criminals. No one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it is widely assumed to be the passageway to the final resting place. Oh! That's a little grim. Answer the. Oh, no, it's a folk glams. I didn't realize. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. <laughs> a little strange looking at your own dead so body. Effective. It's invasive. But just do what you need to do. <laughs> All right, well. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, this has to be very fucking weird. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Oh, what's this brooch? That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Oh, okay, I had to press right to check everything else out. Oh, there's stuff all over the body on this side. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers? Flowers. Yeah. So important. A lot of pebbles were so important to you. Track have a death grip on, she though. Used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Huh. Yeah, you're right about that. Hold on. What's the new thing in the fables? Oh, 13th floor. The 13th floor of the Woodland Building is home to a group of witches and wizards asked for, tasked with the protection of Fabletown. 
They use their powers to keep the community hidden from prying Mundi eyes, but all magic has its limits, and every spell has its cost. Alright, before I check out the buttons, let's check out the rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh... Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. Okay, very well, very well. Are you still okay? I sorry that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. Yeah, we don't have Still anything to go off of. Another attack as we speak. Probably not a great idea to mention that she was a drug user we to Crane either. Keep going. <laughs> well, gotta check the pockets first. Use what is this. That? It's your perfume. How did you know what perfume I wear? I can't fool this nose. Also, <laughs> I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Oh, this is a this is a sex worker made to dress up like Snow White, not knowing what her fate was going to be. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. If it's some kind of black market magic, who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Wait, there's an image to make here. Am I making a horse? Wait, is there a thing with the arrows? Oh! oh dear. It's a deer! What does that mean? Hey, I accidentally got it right. Oh. A lock of hair and a set of picture of Snow Is White. That. It's your hair. Oh, this is for the glamour, huh? Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Oh, is this Holly's sister? Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. 
we should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... I'll always be on Snow's ready. side over Crane's side. Come yeah. on now. Snow's chill. Snow's cool. Snow's hot. Crane's is none of those. <laughs> This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's There's this job, guy. really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Was that necessary? Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> oh, putting all the breakables away. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Oh, is that Jack from, like, Jack and because, the Beanstalk? You know, we were just talking about you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Everyone knows. Uh, Tweedledee was just... Uh, he said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislation. I gave him Baby, a cigar on. and Can't alcohol so and Jack, treated him nicely. Now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look, two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? I'll let him talk. And we haven't heard word let him have about his it piece. from anyone. <laughs> Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you're just completely the asshole right there. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. All right, everyone, clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Yeah, gotta be... Give some space right now. This is a lot to process. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want to... It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't.
we recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I, I didn't know she still had this. The copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very. It's not my place to talk right now. And very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. Yeah, Maybe I kind of figured that, honestly. That way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. It's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Huh. Really? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business. Yeah, office you can go ahead. Start making it's the necessary your family. You can, you can handle the funeral right. rites if you want. <laughs> By the way, uh, interrupting, I had to check. What's the new fable we got? Oh, he's just a trickster. Oh, oh, okay, like jack o lanterns. Jack is at something, but he's not nearly as smart as he thinks he is. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, something candlestick. His plans to get rich quick often backfire, but his confidence never wavers. He thinks he's the most important person in Fable Town, but everyone knows him as a mostly harmless smartass. <laughs> that club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really? I learned from the best. What can Thanks. I say? It just made everything easier. Ah, oh, goddammit, another fable just got in. Hold up. Oh, two! Oh, it's a head! It's for Lily, huh? Lily and her sister Holly grew up in the homelands together, but had a falling out shortly after moving to the mundane world. Aimless and increasingly destitute, Lily turned to prostitution, and now she's the second victim in an ongoing murder investigation. Troll Cross. A troll cross is an amulet made of iron that was foolishly thought to protect the wearer from trolls. Lily acquired hers while wandering through the wilderness and searching for something to eat. She came across a human, but before she could devour him, he held the troll cross out and shouted, Back! Back, you troll! After enjoying her tasty snack, Lily plucked the cross from the dead man's hands. After the exodus, she wore the troll cross constantly as a reminder of better days. Oh, wow, that's already chapter three, huh? Oh, okay, we say only, but we're an hour in.
Oh, pudding and pie. Bronx! Evening. Is that a Bundy or a... Oh. Probably a Fable. Yeah, same ribbon. Oh. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. It's gonna be George Jetson? I hope it's George I Jetson. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I've heard. Oh, glad to know that my reputation precedes me. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She Let's get, try to get some information here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, those are... Hold on. Wait. Oh, god damn it. Hold on. No, no, let's just keep on going. Uh, just cover your eyes. Just cover your eyes, what do you everyone. Think you're doing? Well, hide the boobs. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Oh, is he the Mad Hatter? Good luck. It's your face. Ah, oh, shit. Hold up. You never smile. How many All right. Times uh, sorry. Cover. Censor the boobs. Censor the boobs. You're supposed to turn <laughs> here we go. Better. On. That's your job. You want them to be. Oh, Twitch, don't ban me, please. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. Oh, thank you. I tried my best. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. I want to punch him. I really want to punch him. I really want to punch this Georgie guy. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on oh, the Oh, I thought it was going to be like the Take decapitated head. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? 
You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Harry, anyway, har, har. Go on, then. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, fuck! <laughs> fucking loser. No! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? You did that on your own, you clumsy Fuck's dumbass. Fuck off, hands. Wait, it's like Hanzo? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Okay. Sounds fun to me, honestly. Oh no! You unbelievable prick! Hey now! I'll break only one thing Cut for the now. Crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh? Seems to be something pretty interesting down here, oh, well, though. well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. We don't need to get too violent. To me. We don't need to get You're too big, violent bad right bastard. now. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'm not sure story of music. Come on now, that'd back. just be rude. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, come on now. I'm not going to destroy the DJ booth. That's just rude. That's hurting someone's actual job. Bloody come on, man. The boombox was fun, though. Rick. Once again, like, they have to hire a DJ, so don't they? There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Oh, here we go. An appointment book. Here. The 
This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Agent okay. Smith? I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Bigel Bordenson? Nance knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit oh, the me, size Georgie. Of the decker. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The Who's girls. poking their head out They're there? They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office. Hold on, let me go ahead and look over my handiwork. <laughs> yeah, I'm thrilled about that. Anyways, what's up for you? What's over here? Hello? Oh, Lily's still really empty, duh. Oh, wait. Faith has items in it, though. Lock's been busted open. Yeah, someone already stole from there. Stole from her. Oh, it was in the process of stealing. But there isn't even a lock. Huh. Faith. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Oh. Was Faith the original... Sorry, was Lily originally supposed to be there, but Faith died because she took the job instead? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact... Wrong place, wrong time. Paper. Okay, it's the same thing either way. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. Oh, I hit this lost pixel in the background again. trying to place me they used to call me the little mermaid ariel once upon a time does that help well, what do they call you now whatever makes them happy my name is narissa well narissa i've got some questions Hey, glad you're not a sea I can actually talk I to you then. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Okay, I won't worry about it then, Paul. Lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me okay what would I need to do I need a hundred and fifty it's not good to be short okay oh I uh...
wait here for a second. I don't think I would have had the money regardless, since it's only like 50 something bucks given last time. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Alright, let's check out the fables here. Oh, we got three. Georgie Porgy. Oh. Okay. Georgie runs the Pudding and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try in the pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Clever Hans. Bowser, Jan, or a handyman. Clever Hans always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Surprisingly, she left it. Unsurprisingly, she left him, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now he's content swooping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of her handsome prince. When he married the princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comforts in the company of her fellow dancers. <laughs> Not a lot of happy endings for people. Also sounds like it doesn't look like there's any other people or fables to learn of. Suspicious. <laughs> That's suspicious. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Ooh, cola. She'll kill ya. <laughs> he says while smoking. I should probably repair that. Oh, this is a very worn Don't down spot. like the lobby. They should cut their rates. <laughs> Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Beauty? Oh, uh. Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe 
on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Yeah, probably, honestly. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. No, I understand, I understand. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Oh, I take no. out a loan from those two. It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Yeah, that wasn't Wait. Snow. <laughs> It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> hey, fair enough, fair enough. Wow, that's another chapter already, Listen, huh? Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Yeah, unless you were Which one an active it? part of the crime, there's no reason to name you. Oh, 207. I don't want to know if I want to listen to everything else. It's a lot of noises. <laughs> Best left to just ignore. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Master! I guess I finally see Hey, I thought we see why her beast comes Stop. in, huh? Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> fuck! I wasn't what ready for that. What do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. <laughs> She's my wife, Bigby. I told you. Stop. 
Oh god, we're just tussling, huh? Please Come on out, just calm down, this buddy. Just calm down. We don't need to make a thing out of this. Oh shit! Oh, I thought I pressed that in time, I guess not. Oh, we're wolfing out right now. Oh! Oh! Yeah, he's not seeing straight anyways, so... Fine, you said stuff. Ow! You dick. You ruined everything! Jeez. She's my fucking... Is this Bigby? Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Oh no. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this Lily met her client here? Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on yeah, shift. where the lilac flowers on came in. shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Do you remember who... <laughs> oh, Beast is realizing now he's finally listening. I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Ah, okay. Oh, hey, uh, we can compare the lilac finally. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Oh, oh hey, a story book up. What is that? Oh, that's Snow White. About Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Oh, beautiful. And no, it's, uh, uh The whole book is about her? Yeah. Oh, I ask him what kind of apple it is. Fuji, Red Delicious, Empire. She breathing. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah, there's a lot to go over here. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Of course, huff and puff for the big bad wolf, huh? Go. I'll huff and I'll puff. Hello, <laughs> so oh. from my arrival. Oh, I see a dress in there. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, 
She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. She must have been so scared. Wait. Oh, the apple as well. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Oh, this is a... Oh, this was a weird oh, no, fetish thing going on. What? What now? <sighs> it's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I need to listen to this cassette still, I think. Oh, wait, what's this letter about? Pictures of the dead girl. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with that geezer? Oh, we didn't do the what are you hiding Could thing yet, huh? After you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Hello? Oh, there we go. The frames are dead a bit. <laughs> hey, glad I didn't trust that guy. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? I was still waiting for Mr. Toll to find us like that, huh? You and 60% of uh, players sympathize with them? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I treat the murder suspect, persuaded him to talk. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, most be uh, an overwhelming amount of people let Snow come with us and make her own decision. Hell yeah, a lot of people being cool with Snow. Hey, most people didn't hit Georgie. Okay. Most people didn't hit. Uh, okay, more people chose not to hit Beast a second time. <laughs> 
Hey, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I wanted to hit Georgie as well, but it's like, fuck, it's all over. There's no point. I had my revenge. God, that's loud. Oh, boy. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and be it for this part of uh, The Wolf Among Us. Can't wait to get back to this adventure uh, again next time I'm able to. I uh, hope everyone enjoys this video. YouTube, see you in the next video as well. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out some of the links in the description as well. And have a wonderful, amazing day. Yeah, I'm liking this. So I'm really liking this story. I like noir stuff a lot. <laughs> Oh, but, oh, I missed the cast right there. Oh, whatever. But yeah, it's going to be uh, sometime next week I think I'll be able to get to this, but who knows. In the meantime, YouTube, you know what I said. The amazing people you. I know.